The following program is sponsored by CBN. Welcome to the 700 Club, the rules of engagement. Well, that's what both sides will be battling over today as the Senate impeachment trial of President Trump gets underway. Even before the gavel strikes, the two sides are already going head to head over the ground rules. George Thomas has more on this historic day on Capitol Hill. As the Senate takes up the articles of impeachment, both sides are set to battle over ground rules for the trial laid out by Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. Those rules could see senators enduring grueling 12-hour-long sessions. McConnell wants to give each side 24 hours spread over four days for opening statements, with no guarantee that witnesses or new evidence would be allowed during the proceedings. Senators will then have 16 hours to question the prosecution and defense teams, followed by four hours of debate. Then, a vote to decide if the trial should continue. McConnell's Democratic counterpart Chuck Schumer called the rules proposals a cover-up and rushed and vowed to press for a vote on the Senate floor on the matter of permitting new witnesses and documents. It's clear McConnell is hell-bent on making it much more difficult to get witnesses and documents and intent on rushing the trial through. And so now it goes over to the Senate and all of a sudden, after a rigged process in the House, they're going to want to call for a fair trial and call for more witnesses because they didn't do their job in the House. It's not the Senate's job to mop up the mess of the House with this. It was a witch hunt clearly from the beginning. House Democrats impeached the president last month on abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. The president's defense team released a 110-page brief saying he did neither and that the charges against him do not constitute a crime or impeachable offense calling on the Senate to reject the charges immediately and acquit the president. The position is he didn't do any of these things, that he is innocent as a matter of fact. The senators are set to begin debating the rules when the trial begins at 1 today. The president himself is not in Washington. He is at the Davos Economic Forum in Switzerland. George Thomas, CBN News. Well, the outcome is probably already predetermined, but they're going to argue over the rules and all of that kicks off today. If you want to see it live, all you have to do is download the CBN News app. We're going to have gavel to gavel coverage all live and you can stream it to a tablet, to a smartphone, to a smart TV. A lot of different ways you can do it. So download the CBN News app if you'd like to get it. In other news, there's one group of lawmakers who would greatly benefit from a shorter impeachment trial. The senators who are running for the Democratic nomination for president. John Jessup has more on that story from our CBN News Bureau in Washington. John? That's right, Gordon. The trial is limiting the candidate's campaign time less than two weeks before the Iowa caucuses. Senators Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, Amy Klobuchar and Michael Bennett have been storming the Hawkeye State in the days leading up to the impeachment trial. Now they're compelled to stay in Washington, at least when the trial is in session. And they're required, uh, they're actually forbidden rather, from using electronic devices on the Senate floor. We've had to, needless to say, jiggle our schedule very significantly uh, because I'm going to be spending a whole lot of time in D.C. Polls show Joe Biden leading in Iowa with Warren close behind and Sanders and Klobuchar within striking distance. A day of peaceful protest at a gun rights rally in Richmond, Virginia Monday. Authorities had feared violence with thousands of armed protesters descending on the city, some of them reportedly associated with radical groups. Officials banned weapons on Capitol grounds. Those who did go inside passed through metal detectors and strict security. The high turnout was due to gun control legislation proposed in the Democratic-controlled legislature. You're not going to prevent uh, drunk drivers by punishing uh, sober drivers. And unfortunately, that's what Richmond is trying to do. Guns are in our veins in America. You can't just snatch these from us and think that we're not going to be you know, offended or do something about it. Officials estimate 20,000 people attended the rally. Only one person was arrested, a protester who refused to take off a mask. Well, in China, the head of a government expert team says human-to-human -human transmission has been confirmed in the outbreak of a new coronavirus. That raises the possibility of the virus that the virus could spread more quickly and widely. Face masks are becoming commonplace in parts of China. 
Six people have died and nearly 300 have been infected there. Initial symptoms of the new coronavirus include fever, cough, tightness of the chest and shortness of breath. The coronavirus family includes a variety of illnesses ranging from the common cold to other illnesses like SARS or severe acute respiratory syndrome. We will be back with more of the 700 Club after this. Winters in Wisconsin can be brutal. For Jamie and Jenny, the cold and snow also took its toll on their finances. Jamie was a commercial painter, and the frigid temperatures meant little work. Then one day, Jenny decided to try something she'd seen on TV, and now Jamie has more business than he can handle. Jamie and Jenny Uselding have a full household. With four children, they know a thing or two about juggling. We run around with the kids a lot with baseball, basketball, some football. Jenny works part-time as an occupational therapist, and Jamie owns a painting business. The Wisconsin winters often made it necessary for Jenny to juggle their bills. The bills come in regularly, but the money didn't always come in real regularly. And I just remember feeling terribly stressed about paying the bills. Around November, you know, when, when it started getting cold, I would drop down to maybe two or three days a week of work you know, through at least February. I can remember just lying in bed one night and I know I had a $700 credit card bill and it was, I think, due the next day. I can remember not being able to sleep for hours. I knew I would be able to pay it eventually. It's just, I didn't have the money at that moment. I was always looking for a way to bridge that gap until the money did come in. I hated seeing bills in the mail. Then Jenny started watching the 700 Club and learned about tithing. This isn't some heavenly slot machine uh, where you put it in a quarter and, and hope for the payoff. No, it, it's not that way. It's that consistent life of saying, I'm going to live it God's way. I do like the telethon, and I know that one of the things that stuck in my head was if you give regularly, then God gives back to you. So maybe if I give regularly on a monthly basis, maybe our money will come in a little bit more regularly. The couple began tithing 10% of their income and increased their giving to CBN. Today, they're Chairman Circle members. I feel like I have the easy part. All I have to do is give the money and then they know what to do with it. They know where the need is. They know, you know, they combine everyone's money to be able to dig the wells, to be able to fix the cleft pallets. It's a great feeling being able to know that you are a part of that. Soon after, Jenny transitioned to a new job in the same field, but with more pay and better hours. And by the next year, Jamie had all the business he could handle. Where I'm pretty busy and I keep my, my guys busy all winter. There's always money in the checkbook. We never have trouble with people paying. Jamie and Jenny say that if you're in a financial bind, tithing is the key to a peaceful life. If you want financial stability or financial freedom, you know, tithing is the way to go. Just give it a try and keep your eyes open for what God will do for you and it'll come back to you. Oh, life is so much more comfortable. <laughs> life can be so much more comfortable when you do it God's way. Here's the promise from Proverbs 11. It is possible to give away and become richer. It's also possible to hold on too tightly and lose everything. Yes, the liberal man shall be rich. By watering others, he waters himself. Well, Michael Holmes was down on his luck. He was unemployed and in debt with no way to pay his rent. Michael did have one thing going for him. He had a dream. And here's how he made his dream come true. Michael Holmes' dream was to bring home a six-figure income. But in 2014, after losing his job, he was hoping for anything. Unemployed and in debt, Michael didn't know how he was going to support his family. The rent is due. The landlord needs the rent. He doesn't want to hear that you lost your job. It's kids who are looking up to you. So in my mind, frustration, um, aggravation, depression, all those different, and then of course the feeling of failure. Michael filed for unemployment. Though he was a Christian and volunteered at his church, he wondered why God was putting him through this. So here I am, completely like just, just broken, nowhere to go, nowhere to turn, no money. And I'm starting like to really ask God, like shouting at God angry at God, like a little, like a little five-year-old spoiled kid. Come on, God, what's going on? As opposed to 
being in, more introspective and just really looking, maybe there's something I'm doing wrong. Michael decided to search the Bible for answers, which he says he found in Malachi chapter 3. He talks about, you have robbed me of the tithes and offerings. Prove me now, the King James says, prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there should not be room enough to receive. Let me get this straight, me talking to God. I don't have any money. We have debts. The landlord wants to kick me out. And you want me to give money away. And I look in Malachi chapter 3 in the, in the New Living Translation, it says, try it, put me to the test. Michael tithed from his unemployment check. After a few weeks, he found a new sales job working as a renovation consultant. The money started coming in slowly, but Michael was growing impatient. But I'm like, all right, unemployment is almost about to run out. You said that you would open the windows of heaven and pour me out a blessing that there's not room enough to receive it. I don't see any windows opening. And it got to the point where I was like, all right, I quit. I'm not doing this. I know I said I'm gonna do it, and I quit. Michael went back to the Bible. He came across Acts chapter 5. And I believe it was Peter speaking to Ananias and Sapphira, and he said, you have withheld your, you have withheld your, your, your money in violation of your promise. The whole, the whole day just stopped. I felt embarrassed. I felt, I felt, I felt ashamed. I felt that, I said, I felt that, I said I wasn't going to do it again, and here I am doing it again. Michael decided to remain consistent with his tithing, and soon he started to see results. While the first year on the job he brought in less than $30,000, he had more than doubled that the next year. I think that if you can trust God with salvation and taking you to heaven and healing you, I think you should be able to trust Him with your money. Within five years of tithing, Michael crossed the six-figure mark he had always dreamed about. Today. Michael is quick to tell people about the benefits of giving. In fact, he started a blog called tithehacker.org. He says without a doubt that God is faithful to those that trust him. There's so much that God wants to give every single one of his children. Doesn't matter male, female, black, white, um, denomination. But at the end of the day, there is a level of obedience that is necessary for him to do that. You know, so I think that if we would take him at his word, you know, and be faithful to what he's saying, he'll be faithful in doing what he promised. That's the key. There's a level of obedience. And when you walk obediently before the Lord your God, then he watches out for you. He stands over his word to perform it. But you can't expect benefits from him if you say, well, I'm not going to do it your way. Uh, you know, I, I want immediate results or these kinds of attitudes and demands on God aren't going to get you anywhere because he looks at you and says, well, you're just not ready for my blessing. Uh, for Michael, it took five years. Uh, for you, resolve, how long will it take? At what point in your life will you say, I I'll be obedient, I'll, I'll do what God tells me to do? Now here's the commandment. You find it in Deuteronomy chapter 14. You shall truly tithe all the increase of your grain that the field produces year by year. In the original t Hebrew, it's, it's repeated, tithe, you shall tithe. It's only in the English they say, well, it's truly tithe. It's a commandment and God's underlying it. Tithe, you shall tithe. Michael finally got that. Now it was a struggle for him. Uh, I, you know, imagine tithing off an unemployment check. Imagine tithing when uh, you, you can't pay rent, you can't pay the other bills. Imagine tithing in that environment. And then, you know, he says, well, I didn't get an immediate result, so I'm going to stop. And, and then he's challenged on that. And then finally he says, okay, God, I'm going to do it your way. And you see the increase. It took time. It will take time because you know, are you, uh, is your heart ready for it? Are you ready to finally say, God, I'm all in? You know, so often we can trust God with our sin. So often when we need healing, we can trust him and come to him for healing. But what about your entire life? What about your future? What about your money? What about your family? Are you all in? And that's the, the test, if you will. Test me in this and see if I will not open for you the windows of heaven. For Michael, the windows opened. 
his dream came true. He's now making a six-figure income. He's gone from unemployment to that. It was all because he faithfully tithed and he made a determination, I want to do it God's way. Now, I've got some wonderful news. Some existing CBM partners from Texas and Georgia are combining and saying we want to challenge others to give. They will match your giving dollar for dollar, $95,000. Let's pray. Lord, we ask for blessing over this. We ask for blessing for people who are, who are making resolutions. And Lord, my prayer for them is they would resolve to do it your way. Yes, God. They would resolve your way is the best way. So, Lord, sink it deep into their spirits, into their hearts, into their lives. Your heart is to bless your children. Your heart is to be our, our all in all, to be our provider. Lord, let our heart turn to you and turn in obedience to your word. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. amen and amen. 95000 is the challenge amount. What are we asking you to do? Well, we're asking you to join the 700 Club. How much is that? It's $20 a month, 65 cents a day. We also have 700 Club Gold, $40 a month. 1000 Club, $1,000 a year. That's $84 a month. We have higher levels at seven, uh, 2500 Club. Founder, $5,000 a year. And then Chairman Circle, 10000 or more a year. At whatever level, be a part of it. Call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Terry? Well, I'm excited to tell you that when you become a CBM partner, we have a gift for you. It's Pat Robertson's latest book called 10 Laws for Success. And inside this, you'll find keys to security and success in your work, your family, and your finances. Here's what actor Kevin Sorbo has to say about it. Hi, I'm Kevin Sorbo, and I want to tell you about a phenomenal book that I just read, 10 Laws for Success by Pat Robertson. See, I firmly believe it can transform your life and the, the lives of those that you care about. In this book, Pat shares the supernatural secrets he's discovered and shows you the way to a rich and fulfilling life. In the book, 10 Laws for Success, Pat shares biblical life principles that can put you on a path to purpose, fulfillment, and achievement. Call 1-800-700-7000 or go to CBN.com to receive your own copy today. 10 Laws for Success. This dynamic book is a must read for anyone who wants to achieve their goals, build a solid financial foundation, and grow in their relationship with God. I highly recommend that you get your own copy of Pat Robertson's latest book, 10 Laws for Success. God bless you. This is filled with not just Pat's thoughts and count wise counsel, it's biblical principles that he's called out and then showed us how to apply them to our lives. We want you to have it. We think it'll make a big blessing in your walk with the Lord, in your life in general. You call now, join the 700 Club. If you haven't joined before, 65 cents a day, $20 a month, but lots of club levels. Gordon just ran through with you. If you're not sure which one you want, when you call, the person who answers the phone is happy to talk to you about those options, but call now. And when you do, we're going to send 10 laws for success out to you. Gordon? Well, best friends, Bev and Charlotte, share most everything. That's why they joined forces to make some extra money when the economy crashed. The friends turned to the Bible and learned to pray for witty inventions. And that prayer led to $4 million a year in revenue business. Bev and Charlotte are best friends who've been described as a couple of grannies on steroids. Both their families were doing okay financially until 2008 when the economy crashed. Bev's husband, Larry, nearly lost his general contracting business. We were in debt to the point where we were probably 100,000 plus our house. Charlotte's husband, Bob, also got hit hard. His tile fitting and installation clients were slim to none. Credit cards alone, um, our debt was um, over $30,000. Things had gotten so bad that people showed up to repossess the car. Uh, the bank showed up at the, and they were taking pictures of the outside of the house. When you don't know when it's going to end, you can be very terrified. Through it all, both couples continued to tithe through their church and give to others. We don't tithe to get. We tithe to honor God with our substance. We recognize the fact that uh, what we have, whether it's much or whether it's little, that uh, we owe it to him. Charlotte and Bev teamed up to sell homemade herbal lotions, soaps, and teas 
to supplement their incomes, but nothing took off. Then they decided to pray for witty inventions. We got the idea for praying for witty inventions right out of the word that says, he'll give us witty inventions. <laughs> In 2009, during a church service, Mev says God gave her an idea for a sugar-free candy that is actually good for teeth. I am praying and singing, and I get the complete recipe for ice chips candy. I mean, I knew how to make it. I knew how to pour it. It was all there. She came up to me after the church service, one of the ch church services, and said, oh, I just got the whole recipe on how to make that xylitol candy. And I went, oh, okay. So by the end of the following week, we had already made the candy, people were sampling it, and they loved it. Their husbands retrofitted their garages into kitchens as Bev and Charlotte began to make and sell their ice chips candy. By 2011, sales were around $200,000. Then a year later, they got their big break when they made it onto Shark Tank. After the show aired, sales skyrocketed. We used to say, just go jump off the cliff and believe because we knew God was going to be there and God was going to catch us. Not because God is a piggy bank, but because God is faithful <laughs> and we did what he told us to do. All their debts have been paid off. And the company that started in a garage is now operating out of a 21,000 square foot facility. Its revenues have grown to $4 million a year. And these grannies on steroids thank God for making it happen. God's kind of sneaky like that. You know, he's got things planned. He's got it. He has a way out. And we can relax knowing that he's on it. He knows exactly where you're at, exactly what has to happen and when. One of the reasons tithing is so important because it is a biblical principle. And by following and being faithful to that biblical principle, you have everything to gain and the blessings that come with it. By following biblical principles, you have everything to gain. They don't tithe to get, they tithe to honor God. And here's the promises. They began to search the scripture. Here's the promise they use is from Proverbs chapter 8. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. So they read that in the original King James Version. They read that and say, well, God's got some inventions for us. Let's, let's ask him. And here's a scripture you can use. You can ask God for anything. I call it his phone number. You find it in Jeremiah 33, verse 3. Call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Realize God wants to reveal things to you. He's got lots of ideas. He's very creative. He has solutions for you. All you have to do is ask. And when you ask, make sure you're being obedient. Make sure that you're following His way, doing it His way. When you do these things, what happened to that, those wonderful couples will happen to you. Bev and Charlotte, let their testimony be an inspiration for you. What started out as, you know, we need extra income, we're in deep debt, we've got to find a way out, turned into a wonderful success because they asked God for an idea. So say, God, what do you have for me? What are the good works you have for me to do? Let me walk into them. We've got a challenge before us, and we got 70, we get the red number up, 77,000 against a $95,000 challenge. 32 minutes, 51 seconds. Join with us. Call us, 1 800 700 7000. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Thanks, Gordon. Well, in these uncertain times, one thing remains unchanging, the biblical laws that govern the universe. In Pat Robertson's latest book, he gives you the keys to finding security and success in your work, your family, and your finances. And as our special gift to you for joining the 700 Club, we'll send you a copy of 10 Laws for Success. Take a look. He founded one of the world's largest television ministries. Welcome, folks, to the 700 Club. Formed a global relief organization demonstrating God's love in action. Thank you for helping us. Established a leading university. Graduates, flip your tassels. And became a New York Times best-selling author. Now, Pat Robertson wants to share with you significant insights learned from a lifetime in the Word of God. In his latest book, 
10 Laws for Success, Keys to Win in Work, Family, and Finance. You'll discover the laws that govern success and how they can work for you. A real-world guidebook that can revolutionize your life. Call now, 1-800-700-7000, or go to cbn.com to receive Pat Robertson's latest book, 10 Laws for Success. The law of greatness, the law of miracles, the law of change, just three of the laws that you'll learn about in Pat's new book, 10 Laws for Success. We want you to have it because it will revolutionize your life. It has keys to achieve your goals and find fulfillment. And the best part is this is not man-made wisdom that Pat put together. These are the words of Jesus. This is all from the Bible and it works every time, just like the law of gravity works every time. How do you get it? Great question. Just go to your phones and say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. One 1-800-700-7000 is the number to call, or you can log on to CBN.com. Our beautiful, colorful counselors are standing by right now to take your call, and I'm going to be joining them in a minute, so I look forward to talking to you. We are in the middle of a $95,000 challenge, I believe, with 30 minutes left on the clock. Every dollar that you pledge right now will be doubled and matched dollar for dollar. Your gift will go twice as far, and your blessing will be twice as big. At least that's what I like to say, Terry. Well, when you become a CBN partner, you're helping people all over the world, like this little baby in China named Shiran. She began having trouble breathing, and doctors said she would likely die. Mrs. Gang always loved flowers and started calling the baby in her womb her little Tai Yan Gua, which means Gerber Daisy. I knew she'd be bright, vibrant, cheerful, and beautiful just like a daisy in the sun. But Shiran was born with a hole in her heart that only got worse as she got older. And Mrs. Gang refused to believe that her daughter had a problem. She looked fine. She seemed to have a good weight on her, so I thought she was strong and everything would be okay. It turned out that the weight Mrs. Gang saw was swelling, caused by problems pumping blood. Soon she ran, started having trouble breathing, and doctors said she would likely die. Her lips turned purple, and she cried all the time. I kept saying, you will be fine, and soon we will go outside and see the flowers. But then she ran, got sick, and was hospitalized. And since she was so weak, all doctors could do was give her medicine. But none of it helped. Without surgery, she'd just get weaker and weaker. I was really afraid we were going to lose her. I wished my husband was there with me, but he was in the city making money to support our family and trying to save for surgery. Shiran had been in the hospital three weeks when CBN heard about her critical condition. We quickly set up heart surgery for the baby and stayed with Mrs. Gang so she wouldn't have to be alone during the operation. I was really touched. My baby's health is more important than anything else. Doctors repaired the hole in Shiran's heart, and today she's the healthy little girl Mrs. Gang always believed she'd be. She's cured. I can take her out to play anywhere. I don't have to worry that she will be tired. She can jump and run and play with other children. Now she's happy and carefree and has hope for the future. I think the loving people from CBN were angels sent from God. That's you, 700 Club members. We want to say thank you because without you, she ran would probably not be alive today. You're doing serious work in the lives of people with great need all around the world. And that's why we have a challenge right now. We're asking you to help us expand our reach, be able to touch more people, reach more lives, and all of it with the message of God's love. You know, one of the ways you can do that is by increasing your membership. Maybe you're already a 700 Club member. Go up to 700 Club Gold. That's a, a 
gift of $40 a month. Some of you who are gold members, would you go up to the 1000 Club and 1000 Club members, jump up to the 2500 Club. You know, when we all give and when we all link arms together, we can make a huge difference. So help us in this challenge right now because when you call, every dollar you give will be matched dollar for dollar. Gordon? Well, Grant served his country for six years in the Army. After his service, he got a great job in IT. But just before his start date, Grant was blindsided by his worst nightmare. Serving as an IT specialist in the Army, Grant Moore says his time as a soldier helped him understand the role of being a good husband to Kayla and father to his eight-month-old son, Josiah. It made me feel more a part of a team that I was making more of a difference, and it was like nothing more than being honored to serve your own country. I'm very proud of him for what he's done, because not everybody can do that, so it's him put, not putting himself forward, but putting his country forward in what he's doing. Grant had served six years when he decided to leave the Army and pursue an IT career as a civilian. He quickly got what he thought was a great job offer. That is until the communications company pulled the offer just days before his start date. Everything I worked hard to get, it just got stuff from under me. It created more of a dilemma for me. And a nightmare, yeah, it was a nightmare. My worst fear is, you know, not be able to support my family. As he looked for another job, Grant and Kayla quickly started falling behind. What are we gonna do? Are we gonna have enough money to get baby food, clothes, food for us? I wasn't working, I was going to school full time. So I was like, if I'm not working, he's not working. I just didn't know what, how we're gonna get through this. The couple stood on their faith that God would provide. Just pray and pray and pray and believe and believe and believe. And know the same God that brought you out before is gonna bring you out again. It was then that Helping the Home Front got a call from Lighthouse Christian Fellowship and we arranged to help immediately. Hello, Hi. come on in. Within days, Pastor Ken Friendly invited the couple over. He told them CBM was paying for their rent and monthly bills while Grant looked for a job. Wow, yeah, uh, wow, I, I'm speechless. And in addition to that, today, you guys are going shopping for groceries, diapers, baby stuff, yeah, today. So, um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> that a game changer for you. We're well, gonna see better days and we can be able to actually go grocery shopping and get food. <laughs> this is like, oh my God, he heard our prayers. The family went shopping to stock up on what they needed. CBN did as promised and paid for their monthly expenses until Grant landed a job in IT. You guys really, really, really have blessed us just to know that people out here love and actually care. It's like, a, it's the biggest break that I've ever had in my life. You can be a part of it. That biggest break I've ever had in my life goes to you. That thank you goes to you if you're a member of the 700 Club. If you're not a member, join with us. Call us, 1-800-700-7000. Say, yes, I want to be a part of it. It's $20 a month, that's 65 cents a day. We also have 700 Club Gold, $40 a month. 1,000 Club is $1,000 a year. That's $84 a month. At whatever, at whatever level, do it now. 23 minutes, 36, 35, 34 seconds on that clock. Red number is 55,000. That's how much is left to match on this $95,000 challenge. And we're taking the red number down because from Lumberton, Texas, a thousand club member saying, I'm going to 2,500 this year. That goes into that red number down to 52,000, 23 minutes. Call us now. Let's go to Wendy. Thank you so much, Gordon. Well, are you striving rather than thriving in your work, your family life, or your finances? Maybe all three. In his latest book, 10 Laws for Success, Pat Robertson shares the same principles with you that he's learned about success. Just watch. These laws can bring blessing beyond comprehension. Now available, Pat Robertson's latest book, 10 Laws for Success. And I believe these laws can transform the nation, transform organizations, transform you and your family. Call 1-800-700-7000 or go to CBN.com to receive your own copy today. 10 Laws for Success, fundamental principles of growth for all situations and for all people, no matter what your station in life. 
end confusion. Find answers. Reach your goals. Ten laws for success. Keys to win in work, family, and finance. Get Pat Robertson's latest book, 10 Laws for Success, and start winning today. Call 1-800-700-7000 or go to CBN.com. Available now. Well, if you're looking for a self-help book to start 2020, this is it right here. Pat Robertson's new book, 10 Laws for Success, The Spiritual Secrets That Bring Blessing and Favor into Your Life. You'll want to read it over and over. It is so rich. And I want you to have it because it blessed me so much. I want you to receive the same blessing in how do you get it? You just go to your phones right now and say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. The number is toll free and it's 1-800-700-7000 or you can log on to CBN.com. That's a great way to give. What we're asking you to do is say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club at $20 a month, 65 cents a day. That's all it takes to help so many hurting people all over the world and right here at home. Trust me, I am talking on the phone with some people that are really get, giving out of their poverty. It, it is just some amazing stories of people uh, that want to help even though they don't have a lot. And you know, but when you do that, God says, get ready. I'm going to bless you. So if that's you, please go to your phones right now. Gordon. Richard and Debbie walk five miles a day. They eat right and enjoy a vibrant lifestyle. But the main ingredient to their recipe for healthy living might surprise you. It's healthy giving. Every afternoon, CBN partners Richard and Debbie Sodders exercise. It's part of their new routine to improve their health in their retirement years. I can walk two to three miles. I feel 100% better. It's just remarkable. We eat a lot of organic foods mostly every day. In addition to exercising and eating right, Richard and Debbie say the most important part of a healthy lifestyle is giving. I think that God blesses those who bless Him, and by giving, you're sowing the seed, especially at the 700 Club. We're all over the world, and that's a blessing not only to us, but also to others. That's a big reason why they partner with CBN. We need to help other people that's not near as fortunate as what we are. I love Operation Blessing. I love when the doctors go and do all of the cleft lip for these small children who were made fun of and even ostracized from their communities. That changed their life as well. When they go to communities like in Guatemala and actually drill a well so people have fresh water and don't have to walk a mile for fresh water. I love the fact that I can say I'm part of this. In 2016, after praying about it, the Sodders increased their giving to CBN. It just made us feel so good that we are giving more to CBN, which in turn, they help out so many people around the world. Richard and Debbie say they're spending their golden years getting healthy. And because of CBN, they're helping others do the same. We had a lifestyle change. It's not just for the good of us, it's for the good of everybody. It is just amazing. They don't help just here in the United States. They are worldwide and they they do bless everyone they come in contact with. And I just would encourage others to to join the 700 Club. Join with us. Join in everything we're doing around the world. How do you do that? You call us 1-800-700-7000. Say, yes, I want to be a member of the 700 Club. You can also go to CBN.com slash give, or you can text now CBN to 71777. Keep in mind, when you give monthly on the Internet, you're automatically enrolled in Pledge Express. That's electronic monthly giving where the bank is doing all the work. You can ask for it when you call, though. Ask for Pledge Express, 1-800-700-7000. 29,000 on that red number. We're taking the red number down here from Lubbock, Texas. A 700 Club gold member going all the way to 2,500 Club. $2,800. That takes us to 26,000, 17 minutes on the clock. Call us now. Terry? Well, imagine this, five hours a day, every day. That's what it took for a mother in Kenya to fetch water. What's worse, the water she was fetching was filthy, and drinking it made her whole family sick. 
Purity is her mother's little shadow. She follows her around everywhere she can. But each day, her mother left their mud hut and walked long distances on her own to fetch water. It took me five hours every day to bring home dirty water that made us sick. Elephants and other animals defecated in the water. Because of the elephants, I also walked my daughters to and from school. It took so long, I could not work. At times, it was hard to find and prepare food. Then Operation Blessing built a preschool close to their home and invited Purity to attend. She and all the children here received free meals and a good education. I love coming to school with my friends. There are so many things to play with. I eat vegetables and rice until my stomach is very full. We learn about Jesus too. He loves in my heart and we pray to him every day. We dug a well at the school, so Purity's mother no longer walks long distances to fetch dirty water. We also gave their family one goat, two chickens, and vegetable seeds. Operation Blessing gave us classes on how to start small businesses. My goat multiplied and later became 10 goats. I planted tomatoes and sold them too. With all the money I made, we built a timber home and moved out of our mud hut. So from one goat and a couple chickens and some seeds, they were able to multiply that and build a house. That's amazing, that's a, that's a success story. Our lives are completely different now. My husband and I still grow vegetables and raise goats. We sell the goat milk to make even more money. We have enough to provide our children with all their needs. I thank God for sending you into our lives. May God enlarge your territories and may you continue to help others. It's wonderful, isn't it? I love when I see a family that's gone from such deep need to thriving. And that's because of your kindness and generosity. You know, now Purity is going to grow up in a completely different way. She's going to be educated. She understands the love of God. She's not going to be walking five hours a day to get dirty water. You made that happen. We want to say thank you. That's why so many people are calling right now saying, I want to be a part of making a difference like this. And you know, Pledge Express is another way that you can do that when you call and make your pledge today. Say you want to do it using Pledge Express. It's electronic monthly giving and it puts even more of your gift right into the lives of people like Purity and her family. Gordon? All right, some partners from California want to add 39,000 to the challenge. That takes us to 134. Lord, we ask for blessing for the partners who made it possible to issue this challenge. We also ask for blessing for everyone watching and responding right now. Speak to them, Lord, for we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen, 134 is the challenge amount. We get the red number up, 51,000 to go. 14 minutes on the clock. Call us now and say yes. Well, Yosef says the proudest moment of his life was when he cheated the angel of death in the Dachau concentration camp. Yosef lived on to fight in Israel's War of Independence in 1948 and later testified in the Nuremberg trials. Well, today, this 90-year-old hero lives in Israel, where he recently suffered a serious infection. When Yosef Kleinman holds the same striped hat he was forced to wear as a boy in Auschwitz, memories of life in the Nazi concentration camp come flooding back. It was chaos as my family left the train. My father was dehydrated, so I helped him walk. Then a guard separated us into two lines. I went to the right, to life, and father was sent left, to death. Yosef saw the black smoke of the chimneys, and a fellow prisoner told him that was his family. Yosef was processed into the camp where he received a jacket with a number and later came face to face with the man known as the Angel of Death. Joseph Mengele was personally selecting older boys to work in the Dachau camp. I wasn't big enough to be selected. But when Mengele wasn't looking, I slipped into the older boys' group. That is the proudest moment of my life, knowing that I cheated the angel of death. Yosef was the youngest survivor to be liberated from Dachau by the Americans. 
He made his way to Israel where he fought in the 1948 War of Independence, and he testified in the Nuremberg Trials. Now he's almost 90 and lives in Jerusalem with his wife. The years and the physical torment of the camps are catching up to him. I had heart surgery and lost a lot of weight. My jaw shrank and my dentures wouldn't fit properly, causing sores in my mouth and an infection. It was a nightmare because I couldn't eat and it brought back memories of not having food in the camps. Yosef doesn't have much money and dentures are expensive. So CBN Israel bought him a brand new set. We even got him his favorite snacks to enjoy with his new teeth. Thanks to the new dentures, his infections are healed. He's eating well and recovering quickly, making him and his wife very happy. I am so grateful for all that you have done. It's wonderful to be able to eat again and be healthy. Thanks to CBN Israel donors, Yosef can enjoy a better quality of life, and that helps keep the trauma of Auschwitz at bay. It's a great feeling to know that as I get older, I can look to you for support. Thank you for everything that you have done for me and other Holocaust survivors. Just imagine Holocaust survivors thanking you because you cared enough to give, you cared enough to send someone to them in their time of need. That's you if you're a member of the 700 Club. If you're not a member, join with us. Join in everything we're doing around the world. We're helping people in Israel. We're helping people in Africa, India, China, Philippines, Indonesia, throughout Latin America. You're a part of all of it when you join the 700 Club. So be a part. 1-800-700-7000. If you're already a member, consider going to 700 Club Gold, $40 a month. 1,000 Club, $1,000 a year, that's $84 a month. At whatever level, do it now. Let's go to Wendy, who's been on the phone. Gordon, I just talked to the most delightful lady. Her name is Pam. She's from Indiana. She's been a CBN partner for 15 years. But guess what? She wanted to give a special one-time gift just for Telethon. And I told her we so appreciate that. She also credits her uh, Christianity to her 90-year-old mother, so who is still going strong, by the way. So, Pam, thank you so much, and God bless your mom. Well, what if someone could hand you a blueprint for success in life, for satisfying work, a loving family, and successful finances? In Pat Robertson's latest book, you can discover all that and much more. Take a look. Your life needs a direction, a blueprint for success. In his book, 10 Laws for Success, Pat Robertson draws from a wellspring of wisdom acquired from a life rooted in God's Word. Discover how to bring your family economic success, build unity to achieve your goals, and grow in perseverance to reap its rewards. Get Pat Robertson's latest book, 10 Laws for Success, and start winning today. You know, God loves you and he wants to bless you. He, he wants you to win and we want you to win with Pat's new book, 10 Laws for Success. The secrets that govern the success of every person on the planet. This is our gift to you when you call right now and say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. It's a toll free number, 1-800-700-7000 or you can log on to CBN.com. What we're asking you to do is to give $20 a month. That's just 65 cents a day uh, to become a CBN partner. That's all it takes to help so many hurting people all over the world and right here at home. If that sounds like something you want to do, let me just tell you, you can't outgive God. So if you're on the fence and you're saying, I want to do it, but hey, I'm a little scared. Don't be afraid. God promises if you give what's in your hand, he'll give you what's in his hand. And his hand is a lot bigger. Right, Terry? Absolutely. Well, this next story is so troubling. Rats, cockroaches, frogs, snakes. That's what a single mom and her two children had to live with in their dilapidated shack in Peru. But even more dangerous was the threat of rising floodwaters. Diaro and his sister Chantal live with their mom in a rented shack in the middle of an Amazon tributary in Peru. Their house, which is supposed to float, now floods every time it rains. But it's not just the flood water they fear. This is eight-year-old Daro. We saw big rats, cockroaches, and frogs. One time we found a dangerous snake in our house, and I got bit on my arm by a rat. I don't like it when the frogs come in. 
I didn't want to live there because it was always filled with water. Moira is a single mom. She's been forced to raise her kids here because her income was so limited after she escaped from an abusive husband. I feel guilty for the kind of father they had, but God is good. I knew he would provide. Finally, their house flooded so badly they could no longer live there. I had no options. I couldn't move to the city because land is so expensive. I didn't know where to go. When Operation Blessing heard the family was homeless, we gave them some help. First, we built them a new, safer house that sits high above the water during flood season. Then, we gave them furniture and beds so Moira and the children no longer have to sleep on the floor. Everything is so beautiful. I never imagined I could be so excited about anything. I am so happy that I have a house now. Thank you to everyone for giving us a safe place with no rats and snakes. My house is beautiful. Thank you. Changing lives, that's what you do, 700 Club members, and we are so grateful to you for partnering with us in that. Go to your phone and call right now if you haven't called yet today, because this challenge is big, and it means when you call, every dollar you give will be matched dollar for dollar. We need to meet this, so help us. We have just minutes left, and we're asking you to be a part of it. Gordon? Okay, we're taking the red number down. Fairmont, West Virginia, 2,500 Club member, increasing $4,200. And here's another 2,500 club member in Bismarck, North Dakota, $4,200. That takes us down to 14,000. Five minutes on the clock. Be a part of it. Call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Well, Sasha was bullied at school repeatedly by a girl named Anastasia. Then one day, she decided to invite Anastasia to her home to watch a cartoon. And before long, these two girls became best friends. Sasha loved everything about going to school, except for one thing, a girl named Anastasia who bullied her. She called me names and wanted to fight. I was so offended, but I was also afraid of her. Anastasia, on the other hand, believed it was okay to pick on smaller girls. She told us she'd been bullied herself. I pushed other kids around because I wanted them to feel the pain that I had felt. One day, the bullying got so bad that Sasha came home crying. She told her mom everything that Anastasia had done to her. At first, I wanted to run there and fight for my child. But then Sasha and I decided to pray for her. My mom suggested that I invite her to my house where we have a Super Bowl club. At first, Anastasia refused, but later decided to come. That day, they watched the Superbook episode, He is Risen. When I saw they were nailing Jesus' hands to the wood, I felt very sorry for him. I wanted to save him. After watching, I prayed and asked Jesus to forgive me. After we prayed together with her, we began to see big changes in her life. Before, I got angry. Now I don't do that, because God changed my heart. Anastasia stopped bullying Sasha, and the two became friends. We play together. We're good friends now. The Superbook cartoon changed me. I now know that God can help me. I learned that being kind is better than being mean. I want to say thank you to everyone who helped make such great cartoons. Thank you. And that thank you goes to you if you're a member of the 700 Club. There are children all around the world thanking you for producing, for distributing, for translating these wonderful Bible stories. We've got a broadcast map. We can show you all the different places where uh, Superbook is currently airing. Uh, broadcast on streaming, a lot of different ways you can get Superbook now, the Superbook app. It's all made possible because people like you cared enough to give. So thank you. Thank you for what you're doing to train a whole generation of children worldwide in the stories of the Bible. When we do these things, we get incredible results. Terry? Well, Omar and Dua are Syrian refugees living in Jordan. They're also the parents of a little girl named Maria. 
They had no idea where to turn for the medical help that Maria needed, and at one point, they feared their daughter would die. Maria's parents narrowly escaped the war in Syria and fled to Jordan when she was born. They felt blessed to have their new baby, but something wasn't right. She wouldn't stop crying, and her diaper was always dry because she wasn't urinating. This went on for days, and I was so scared because I thought that she would die. Living as refugees in Jordan is so hard because we are not allowed to have jobs, and I had no money to take my baby to a doctor for a test or to pay for an operation. I didn't know what to do. Another refugee told Maria's parents to take her to Mercy Medical Clinic, a Christian outreach supported by Operation Blessing. The free clinic treats hundreds of Christian refugees and Muslim refugees like Maria's family every week. Doctors discovered a urinary tract obstruction that needed immediate emergency surgery at a hospital. Operation Blessing covered the entire cost of her surgery. After the surgery, Maria became more comfortable and happy for the first time. Seeing her smile relieved my worries and brought us so much joy. When the surgery was done and I saw my daughter's face and everything was okay, I cried. It was like a mountain had been lifted off my back. Maria is more than a year old now and completely healthy. I can't describe how grateful I am for you. What more could anyone possibly do for me than to save my daughter's life? Thank you so much for everything you have done. Without you, my daughter would be dead. May God give you the ability to keep helping others in need. The life of refugees is so hard, and because of you, we're able to reach into the lives of many, many of them every day. We say thank you. Listen, here's the people who are making a difference. This is Afton, Oklahoma, 2,500 uh, club member joining, and then Elizabethtown, Kentucky, a 2,500 club member saying, I'm giving $3,060. Thank you to both of you. Okay, we're going over the top on this challenge here. Locust Grove, Virginia, 2,500 club member doubling, found her $5,000. Grange, Kentucky, $4,800. Ty, Texas, $2,500. And then right here in Virginia, Quentin, Virginia, $3,000. Someone you, increasing. Thank you, thank you. All of that went into this challenge, and I think we're out of time. But we had a challenge, and against that, you gave $162,000. These words from Deuteronomy 28, all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you because you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Resolve this year, you will obey what God tells you to do. God bless, we'll see you again.